Sirens ring out as the first cars cross the border from New South Wales into Victoria, Australia's two most populous states. They're the first to make the journey since July, when the border was closed due to the coronavirus pandemic. Victoria, once the epicentre of the country's outbreak, has now gone 24 days without recording a single new case, and that's prompted the border restrictions to be eased. The Premier of New South Wales, Gladys Berejiklian, said on Monday she hoped they would never need to be reintroduced. Well, as I said yesterday, I never ever want us to be in a position ever again where we have to shut down our borders. There's now expected to be a surge in air traffic between Melbourne and Sydney, one of the busiest routes in the world before the pandemic. Some 4,000 people were planning to fly between the two states on Monday and donuts have been prepared at Sydney Airport to welcome them. People in Melbourne spoke of their relief to be able to travel again. Oh, it's fantastic, yeah, no, much... Uh much waited for it, so it's good. You now I can come visit my father when I need to, without having to worry um, about when I can get home. Victoria also relaxed its rules on masks on Sunday, saying they were no longer required outside. And the state has allowed for larger public gatherings. Australia has recorded about 28,000 cases of COVID-19 and 907 deaths. 90% of those fatalities have been in Victoria.